Hi, welcome to the test tutor. Today we are going to provide an introduction to the matrix reasoning subtest. Matrix reasoning is a core skill that is common to several tests, including WIPC3, WISC4, KBIT, and Stanford Binet. However, today we will cover information specific to the WIPC3. So let's begin by examining what matrix reasoning is. Matrix reasoning is one of the most difficult skills to master. And if your child is unfamiliar or has difficulty with pattern recognition or visual analogies, he will benefit greatly from practice. Matrix reasoning evaluates a child's nonverbal reasoning and problem solving skills, as well as his ability to solve visual analogies and identify patterns. A typical matrix reasoning question will consist of a four block matrix with a series of pictures or shapes inside. The most common matrix reasoning question found on the WISPY test are picture analogies and figure analogies. Let's look at an example. In this exercise, we see a horse and a barn. These pictures are related to each other. To solve this exercise, the child must apply that relationship to the third picture and select an answer that should go in the empty box. The best way to solve this type of exercise is to make up a question about the relationship and apply it to the third picture. In this instance, the sentence might be, a horse lives in a barn. What lives in a birdhouse? The best answer would be number two, a bird. Here's an example of a figure analogy. In this exercise, we see a white circle with a red outline and a solid red circle next to it. The next figure is a white square with a blue outline. Based on the relationship of the pair of circles, what should go in the empty box? The answer is number four. A solid blue square goes with the set of two pictures that are related to each other in the same way. Our WIPC preparation kit contains many matrix reasoning practice exercises. And practice makes perfect. Feel free to contact us via email or phone if you have any questions about our products.